Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are on Green Ground News, and I am Alvin, your host. Tonight, we delve deep into the life and controversies surrounding a man who has become a household name in recent times, Andrew Tate. His story is a tapestry of ambition, controversy, and the power of influence in the digital age. Andrew Tate a name that once echoed in the kickboxing arenas as a professional fighter now resonates in the vast expanse of the internet where he has carved a niche as an online influencer. With every punch he threw in the ring, he demonstrated his prowess, his dedication, and his relentless pursuit of victory. But as the gloves came off and the world of social media beckoned, Tate's battles took on a different form. Andrew Tate is an online influencer and former professional kickboxer who has been accused of human trafficking, rape, and forming a criminal gang to sexually exploit women in Romania. He and his brother Tristan, along with two Romanian citizens, were arrested in December 2020 after a police investigation that found evidence of their involvement in a network of prostitution and pornography. They have been under house arrest since then, awaiting trial. On June 20, 2023, Romanian prosecutors announced that they had indicted the four suspects on the charges and that they would face trial in a Bucharest court. The prosecutors said that the suspects had recruited young women from Romania and other countries, promising them money and fame, but then forced them to engage in sexual acts with clients or on camera while taking most of their earnings. The prosecutors also said that the suspects had used violence, threats, and blackmail to control the women and prevent them from escaping. Andrew Tate has denied the charges and claimed that he is innocent. He has also accused the Romanian authorities of fabricating evidence and violating his human rights. He has maintained a defiant attitude on social media, where he has millions of followers who support his controversial views on women, politics, and religion. He has also posted videos of his lavish lifestyle, showing off his expensive cars, watches, and clothes. Andrew Tate has also been the subject of a BBC Three documentary titled Andrew Tate, The Man Who Groomed the World, which aired on August 10, 2023. The documentary, led by journalists Matt Shea and Jamie Tossin, investigated Tate's online influence and how he allegedly manipulated young men and women into following his misogynistic and extremist ideology. The documentary also interviewed some of Tate's former associates and victims, who revealed details of his abusive behavior and criminal activities. The documentary sparked a backlash from Tate's fans, who accused the BBC of bias and defamation. Tate himself responded to the documentary on Twitter, calling it a hit piece and threatening to sue the BBC for libel. He also claimed that he had evidence to prove his innocence and expose the corruption of the Romanian justice system. The trial date for Andrew Tate and his co-defendants has not been set yet. If convicted, they could face up to 15 years in prison. The digital realm is a double-edged sword. It offers a platform for voices to be heard, for ideas to be shared, and for influence to be wielded. And wielded, Tate did. With millions hanging on to his every word, he became a force to be reckoned with. But as the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. And this is where the story takes a darker turn. Romania, December 2020. A country known for its rich history, its scenic beauty, and now, the epicenter of allegations that would shake the very foundations of Tate's empire. Human trafficking, rape, and the formation of a criminal gang to exploit women sexually. These are not charges to be taken lightly. The evidence? A network intricately woven with threads of prostitution and pornography. Alongside him, his brother Tristan and two Romanian citizens found themselves ensnared in this web of accusations. The four were placed under house arrest, their fates hanging in the balance, awaiting the gavel's judgment. The prosecution's narrative is harrowing. Young women, lured with promises of fame and fortune, only to find themselves trapped in a world where their autonomy was stripped away. A world where they were allegedly forced into unspeakable acts, their pleas for freedom met with threats, violence, and blackmail. But in this age of information, there are always two sides to every story. And Tate's defense is as vociferous as the charges against him. He denies the allegations, painting a picture of a conspiracy, of fabricated evidence, and of a violation of his human rights. His social media platforms, his digital pulpit, become his defense podium from where he proclaims his innocence to his legion of followers. And what a following it is. Millions, captivated by his charisma, his lavish lifestyle, and his often controversial views on women, politics, and religion. In this digital coliseum, Tate's every post, every tweet, every video is met with a chorus of cheers and jeers. His followers, unwavering in their support, see him as a beacon of free speech, a martyr being crucified for his beliefs. His detractors, on the other hand, view him as a symbol of the toxic masculinity that pervades the internet. Amidst this maelstrom of opinions and emotions, the BBC steps in. August 10, 2023. A documentary titled Andrew Tate, The Man Who Groomed the World, hits the airwaves. 
journalists Matt Shea and Jamie Tossin embark on a quest to unravel the enigma that is Andrew Tate. Through interviews with associates, alleged victims, and experts, they attempt to piece together a jigsaw puzzle of influence, power, and alleged criminality. The documentary's reception? Polarizing. Tate's fans rise in his defense, accusing the BBC of bias, of character assassination. Tate himself, never one to back down from a fight, takes to Twitter, branding the documentary a hit piece and threatening legal action. As the dust settles and the world awaits the trial's commencement, one thing is clear, the story of Andrew Tate is a testament to the power of influence in the 21st century. It's a cautionary tale of the fine line between freedom of speech and the potential consequences of unchecked power. In this digital age, where the lines between reality and virtuality blur, where every tweet, post, or video can shape public opinion, the saga of Andrew Tate serves as a mirror, reflecting the complexities of our times. It's a story that forces us to question, to introspect, and to ponder the very nature of influence, power, and responsibility. As we await the trial's outcome, the world watches with bated breath. Will justice be served? Only time will tell. But until then, the story of Andrew Tate will continue to captivate, to intrigue, and to serve as a stark reminder of the age we live in. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.